So you've been doing a lot of research, maybe watching my videos, reading something online, and now you think that you want to move to Asheville. I need you to stop right now and watch this video where I'm going to tell you about 18 different things you need to know before moving to Asheville, North Carolina. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Elena Kavrigin with Nesting Dolls Realty at Realty One Group Pivot here in Asheville, North Carolina. If this is your first time on my channel and you want to know everything about living in Asheville, breathing in Asheville, playing, uh, drinking, eating, hit that subscribe button and tap a bell to get notified every time I make a new video. Thank you all so much who reached out to me after watching my videos. This is literally my favorite thing in the whole world. Well, maybe except for French broad chocolates. That's literally my favorite thing in the whole world, but you're gonna need to come here and try them to know what, exactly what I'm talking about. Anyways, if you need any kind of help relocating to Asheville or the Asheville area, feel free to call me, text me, email me day and night, weekends and weekdays. Well, maybe not at night because I'm going to be asleep and I'm not, not going to pick up the phone, but you get the idea. Okay, so let's dive right in. First thing you need to know about Asheville, North Carolina is that Asheville has over 80% more gay and lesbian residents than an average American city. Each October, more than 10,000 people attend one of the most colorful pride celebrations in the country. It's called the Blue Ridge Pride Festival. You will not find um, like a gay neighborhood or part of town in Asheville because the spirit of LGBTQ community is everywhere in Asheville. Number two. So after the first one, now you're thinking that you're coming to such a cool little liberal city in the South. Uh, not so fast. While we do have a ton of very uh, liberal, very accepting, very um, open people and open to all kinds of other people who come from different walks of life and uh, nationalities and cultures and points of view, if you step your foot right outside of Asheville, it might look completely different. Um, you might think that you are actually in a completely different town or city. Uh, we still have a lot of people who have very traditional views, who live right outside of Asheville, and those people actually don't even like to come to downtown Asheville because it's a little too weird and too quirky for them. And I don't want to sound like I'm condemning either side of the spectrum. I'm just stating that Asheville is a southern city that happened to have a very liberal vibe and where people learned to respect each other and to respect uh, each other's views, no matter how different they are, for the most part. Number three, people do not move to Asheville for high paying jobs. In fact, high paying jobs or decent paying jobs are kind of hard to find in Asheville. Main employers in Asheville, North Carolina are Mission Hospital, uh, Buncombe County Board of Education and hospitality and tourism industry. And th those do not scream six figure income to anyone. Number four, Asheville is not the cheapest place to live. The cost of living in Asheville is higher than the national average and, in fact, North Carolina average. The combination of lower to mid paying jobs with high demand for housing creates a higher cost of living. Number five, on top of that, it is super hard or can be hard to find a daycare if you have kids. It is not uncommon for people to be on wait lists for not one, not two, but even three years, exactly, not months, years. If you're just thinking about moving to Asheville and you have kids, you better start researching and getting on those wait lists. Number six, Asheville is very artsy. And I'm not just talking about numerous galleries that we have in downtown Asheville and River Art District and actually all over town, but we have so many talented artistic people who express themselves themselves in so many different ways. I'm talking about uh, dozens and dozens of murals all over town, street artists that line pretty much every corner and every sidewalk in downtown Asheville, especially in summertime. 
drum circle in Pritchett Park that draws crowds of people watching and participating. And some people find Asheville is a little too weird. It's not uncommon to see a crazy nun on a bike in downtown Asheville that happens to have a man with very hairy legs riding his bike all over downtown Asheville. That's a scene to see, but that's what makes Asheville, Asheville. Number seven, we like everything local. Local restaurants, local bars, lo local stores, local grocery stores, local farms, everything. Local businesses tends to do better than national chains. Number eight, if you are used to driving on these kind of roads, you're gonna be shocked because we have none of that. We do not have straight roads. Our roads were constructed to complement and mimic the landscape and the terrain of, the, of our region. And not only our roads are very windy, but they are very up and down the hill. So it's a lot of fun <laughs> to drive on our roads, especially in winter time. <laughs> Number nine, if you have a flashy car or anything flashy for that matter, sell it before coming to Asheville. People in Asheville don't care about anything that's flashy, anything that's grabbing attention. The people in Asheville just like, you know, they're very down to earth style. So to truly fit in, you're gonna need to buy a Subaru or a Prius. Seriously though, I feel like we have so many Subarus in Asheville that sometimes that's all I see around town. And by the way, you probably will gonna need to have a four wheel drive, uh, especially during winter time to drive on our very treacherous roads. Number 10, if you're coming from, a, from an area where it's flat, if you've never lived in a mountainous area and you come into Asheville and you're gonna want to have views, you're gonna have to drive to them. A lot of people ask me about homes with views or land with views where they can build a house and they want a waterfall on top, well, that ain't gonna happen. That land that has the best views tends to be steep, or at least the drive up to that land tends to be steep. So be prepared to climb or to have a driveway that looks like this. Number 11, avoid I-26. I repeat, avoid Interstate 26 and South Asheville in general. It is known for the worst traffic ever. It's very condensed. The infrastructure is not there to maintain and to sustain all the people who are moving and living and building their homes in South part of uh, Asheville. So the traffic can be a nightmare in the South Asheville and along I-26. Number 12, we have um, about four entrances to Blue Ridge Parkway within the city. So it makes it a perfect getaway, quick getaway to nature, to trails, for hiking, biking, or just to for enjoyable ride. In fact, sometimes I take Blue Ridge Parkway to cut through traffic. If I see traffic um, on, for example, Henderson Mill Road again, which is in South Asheville, I might just take Blue Ridge Parkway and avoid traffic uh, by driving through nature instead of sitting at multiple red lights. But if you come in from a big city, this traffic talk, just ignore it. You're not gonna notice a thing. It's the local, hardcore locals and natives complain nonstop about traffic, which yes, it did get worse, but it's not nearly as bad as in big cities. Number 13, Asheville is a very short drive to multiple different cities for a quick one or two day getaways. Gatlinburg is only an hour and a half away. Knoxville, Tennessee is a couple hours away. Greenville is a little over an hour away. Atlanta is three hours. Charlotte is a couple hours. And Atlanta and Charlotte, um, the main cities, if you are traveling, inter traveling internationally and you just wanna avoid um, multiple layovers, don't want to fly from Asheville Regional Airport, 
and connect in either Charlotte or Atlanta. So you can go straight to one of those cities and fly straight from there. If you want to go to the beach, Myrtle Beach in South Carolina or Foley Beach and Charleston, uh, about um, five hours away. So short drive and you are at the beach. Number 14, if you like outdoors, if you like to go hiking, biking, you're gonna love it here. We have such an easy access to multiple dozens and dozens of trails for hiking and biking. French Broad River goes pretty much through town and such an easy access for those who like to canoeing, kayaking, and tubing. Number 15, we love our dogs. We have so many restaurants and establishments in town that are dog friendly. A lot of places have bowls of water right outside for your little pooch to enjoy on a hot summer day. Number 16, yes, we do have all four seasons, but they're very mild and winter time is usually super mild for me at least. I'm from Siberia, but um, so let's move on. Anyways, in winter, we do not have a lot of snow, but when they just call in for snow, when you see flurries uh, on the bottom of your valley, consider it to be done. The schools will be closed. The kids will be let go to home earlier. Everything will be shutting down. People will go crazy buying bread and milk at the stores because Everyone wants to stay home, everyone wants to be safe, because we cannot drive in the snow. Like I said previously, our roads are very up and down, very windy, and it's really dangerous to drive on those roads. So stay home, stay safe, even if you don't see any snow on the ground where you live or where you stay in Nashville, I assure you, 10 minutes from you, up on the mountain, those people have a bunch of snow when you don't even see anything on the ground where you are at. So number 17 is Asheville is a beer city USA, as you might know, and we have more local craft breweries per capita than any other town in the USA after Portland, Maine. They take the first place. But anyways, if you like beer, you're gonna love it here. In fact, to try a lot of those breweries, you don't even need to leave downtown. You can just park your car, take Uber and drive there, get there and just hop from one bar to another and try all these different breweries that are located right there in downtown Asheville. And last but not least, number 18, Asheville is one of the top USA cities for vegan living. So much so that we have a whole week devoted to plant-based living. Asheville's annual Vegan Fest celebrates the vegan lifestyle and this event basically aims to both celebrate and educate the community and have great speakers, vegan beverages, lifestyle products and of course delicious food. There are multiple restaurants in Asheville that only serve vegan and vegetarian food and most general restaurants offer vegan and vegetarian options. I'm gonna drop a link with some restaurants that are vegan or have vegan options in the description. Well, this is it. Feel free to reach out to me if you move into Asheville and most importantly, subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell to get notified every time I post a new video. See you next time.